Congratulations to the artists who boycotted the Biennale of Sydney Arts Festival. You've done it! Transfield has cut ties with the international festival that it founded and has sponsored for over 41 years. All because of your diligent efforts to highlight its 12% stake in a company that runs the Manus Island Detention Centre. Transfield is bad. So, here are the good sponsors you have left. A big thanks to the Australian Commonwealth Government. So good, they conceived, created, legislated and funded offshore detention in its entirety. How will boot that Canadian government, eh? Known for maple syrup and a delicious refugee process that separates parents from their kids for years. Who likes kids anyway? We could waffle on all day about the Belgian government, but the UNHCR said it best when they noted that the Belgians forced refugee women and children to sleep on freezing streets and returned Afghan asylum seekers only to be killed by the Taliban. Their money is beautiful one day, but dreadful the next. Big thanks to the Queensland Government, you barrier reef dredging nurse axing office of climate change closing, civil union cutting, Aboriginal health ignoring, Premier Literary Award losing, Big Brother funding legends. And Dankeschön to Deutsche Bank. Even though they financed the construction of the Auschwitz Nazi death camps and serviced the Gestapo, it was like ages ago, right? And without Pernod Ricard, how could we all look worthy complaining about bullfighting in the south of France if it was never sponsored in the first place? And it's not like PricewaterhouseCoopers was found to have corruptly won a contract to privatise water in Delhi. Besides, corrupt is just Hindi for business. So with ethical giants like these, who needs Transfield? Congratulations artists, you've done it! Now you can enjoy your little arts festival guilt free. As long as you're not Jewish, gay, Aboriginal, Israeli, a refugee, Afghani, an author, a nurse, a student, or a bull. <laughs>